Brian Berkeley with Picture Line here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to be talking about the new Canon XA10. Um, I'm really excited. We just got these today and Dave and I decided to do a video about it. And uh, first look, I pulled this out of the box and found that you can take the handle off. Um, it came with it off and so you can either leave it off or put it on. And on that handle, you have the XLR ports. And I'm always happy about having XLR ports right off the bat because your, your audio is going to be quite a bit more professional. Also, um, up on here on the control panel of the handle, you have your, your microphone adjustments. So you can do phantom power, you can turn channel one on, channel two off, you can do it however you want. And you also have your levels for your XLR ports. Um, this camera has 64 gigabytes of internal memory and not only that, um, you can do two SDXC cards upon the 64 gigs and so once it fills up the internal memory it will then start recording to one SD card and then it will also from there go to the next one. And so there's not too many limits when it comes to recording time on this camera. Um, but SDXC cards, soon there's going to be two terabyte SDXC cards coming out and they will work with this camera, which is great. Um, 10 power optical zoom. It's a Canon zoom. They always make good glass. Um, they've done a lot of things right. They also have an instant autofocus. And so you're not going to be able to wonder if you're going to get the shot anymore because you're wondering if it's in focus with this instant autofocus window down here in the lens you'll get that autofocus every single time first look I love this ring here so you can do manual focus by doing the manual focus here it just feels a lot more natural um, I, I feel that th they've been needing something like this for quite a long time and more of a prosumer camera um, but feature after feature I love the infrared shooting um, this can shoot infrared by the flip of a switch down here on the panel um, and so you can shoot in pure darkness um, and it'll actually put out a little bit of infrared beaming out of the front handle so you can you can shoot in pitch dark that doesn't even matter this camera is at the top of the ABC HD format it shoots 24 megabytes a second and at 24 megabytes a second um, you're gonna be getting some pretty awesome footage um, and so that is the maximum ABC HD can shoot another feature I like on this camera is the processing power um, this has a DV3 processor um, and to be able to process that much information you have to have a really powerful processor and by having a powerful processor you're going to be able to shoot in lower light conditions and it's going to it's going to help you quite a bit when you're when you're shooting in low light this camera also has built-in filters um, they call them a cinematic filters so you can do things like vivid color shooting you can do black and white you can do a bunch of different presets so you're not having to worry about it in post-production and I, th I thought that was a really neat idea. Another thing this camera has is a dynamic image stabilizer. Dynamic image stabilizer is going to be really good when you're using the zoom. Most stabilizers when you're zooming the the image stabilizer becomes non-functional but that's what a dynamic stabilizer does is as you're zooming your stabilizer is still working and it'll stay stable throughout the zoom. This camera also has a a RGB color filter and so what it does is there's an actually a filter inside the camera and as it sees the reds the greens and the blues it splits them off and puts them to their right place and so you don't really need a three chip sensor anymore it's gonna split it up anyway and it's gonna look really good now on this on this handle up top here you have a zoom toggle which I think is really great when you're walking with it the camera's balanced you can zoom in zoom out you can start you can stop you can also hold your hand up in here and do the same zoom start and stop now this camera shoots 1920 by 1080 resolution 
and it's a third inch size sensor and it's a CMOS sensor. This sensor is a really special sensor because they made the, it have less pixels. By having less pixels, it's going to look a lot better in low light. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be beautiful. This camera can shoot in 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second. This is really one of the first times that Canon made a camera that can shoot in 24p native. By it being native, you're not, it's not having to do the internal frame drop anymore, and so it's going to look much better. This camera is also really cool because you can use the iFi memory cards. Um, it'll actually down-res the file if you want to, and by down-resing the file, you put an iFi card in, and it'll transmit that that video wirelessly to a wireless network or an ad hoc communication with a computer. Um, and so I think they really have thought of everything. In the package it also comes with a shotgun mic attachment. Um, they really wanted you to be able to do anything possible with this camera. They wanted to give you the option to make it small or to make it large and use it for full video studio recording. So that was a wise move on their part. So that's pretty much our first take on the new XA10 by Canon. Um, if you can't tell, I'm really excited. Um, I, I want one of these. That's, I, I just totally want one. Um, thank you for spending time with us at Picture Line today. If you have any questions, I'm Berkeley. And you can call us at 801-364-1200 or you can visit us at pictureline.com. Thank you so much.